Hey everybody, welcome back to the Classic League. This is Jamie the D, and with me is Blind Sally. Hello. And we're going back to a track that in XL I hated, with a craft that in 3 I'm not exactly fond of. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's an all UK team. <laughs> they flew too close to the sun. They really did. Um. Just but, a mythology reference for anyone who didn't catch that. Yeah. Good old Icarus, uh, <laughs> son of Daedalus. Yes. Uh. And um, funnily enough, Gardaropa is actually a little easier in some places. Uh, for example, this chicane, um, that not chicane even, is a little easier. The track is a tiny bit wider, just a tiny bit. Uh, the U-turn's still a dick, though. Right. But hey, um, we were talking in the Wipeout League video about exploits, and uh, there's one! <laughs> Using your anti-gravity to phase through the wall. Right? Yeah, uh, only happens with really, really hard turns where your <laughs> back end ends up going outside the track. But, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll be seeing that combined with another fun thing, because uh, our shields did go down with that collision. Um to ensure that I don't die in the time trial, despite yeah, the Icarus just, being... Those shields are crumbling right now. <laughs> I know! The Icarus really <laughs> is the flimsiest of ships. Um, and uh, as I mentioned in when we first saw the Icarus, uh, created by... Uh, basically an eccentric rich dude uh, in under six months, the entire team. Ship and all. Can I just say, uh, what's the deal with people naming things Icarus? I mean, in the myth, Icarus flies too close to the sun, wings burn up, and he falls to his death. It's like naming your boat the Titanic. Why are you, uh, doing this? Well... It seems like, it seems like a curse waiting to happen, like something bad's gonna happen. Considering uh, the guy who made this made this team, Burns and Burns, also had a spectacles company called Four Eyes. <laughs> wow. I don't, I I don't think he was the best judge. Uh, also, um, Sally, you've probably um, not heard this, but the Icarus law is that Burns and Burns dies uh, between this game and Fusion. In a balloon accident, so, choking at one in a children's birthday party. Right. So the name's very <laughs> fitting. The yes. self-fulfilling prophecy. Yes. Brilliant. Um, I was watching a movie recently. What was it? Uh, it was uh, Danny Boy with Sunshine. Oh Sunshine. yeah. Another movie where they named their ship the Icarus. And I, I get it because they're flying to the sun to restart it with the nuclear bomb or whatever, but. Everyone winds up dead. Like, Icarus dies at the end of it. He flies too close to the sun and dies. So in the movie, at the beginning, everyone's hoping, like, oh, we're going to fly back to Earth after doing this mission. Nope! <laughs> no. Everyone dies. Ah, uh, dear. Don't name things after tragic myths. That should be, uh... That should be a rule. That should be yeah. a rule. Um... But yeah, the Icarus then doesn't come back until, um... Oh, there was some hyperboost. Wow. Yeah. Hyperboost used before a ramp is fucking amazing. That was brilliant. <laughs> Only wish I'd done that on the single race. Because uh, that would look great on replay. Right. Um... But yeah... Um single race with the Icarus is a case of do you survive to get get first? Right. If you don't, restart. If you do, Burn you will never... The sun. Yeah. It... If you do manage to get first, then you're going to tear away from everyone and nobody is ever going to catch you. But, um... 
Yeah, there was actually one other change they made to this uh, track. It's a very little one, but it com it changes how you're meant to pitch control on Final Jump. <coughs> yeah. In the original Wipeout XL, uh, those ramps were straight. Right. Now, take a close look at the ramps when we come to them now. Right. They're actually rounded a little on the ends. And this basically means screw subtlety. You, you pitch the nose up so you have the minimum traction with the track, and hit accelerate, it. yeah, and just launch yourself. Huh. And the chicane, again, you just pitch your nose up and say, well, fuck you, chicane, I ain't playing your game. <laughs> My goodness. Those yeah. Fields. I know. <laughs> I can't remember if it was this race or the AGS time trial where I ended with something like 0.7 shields. Right. Thank goodness for the pit zones. And you're right out of it, you're already back to 80%. Yeah! Welcome to life with the Icarus. <laughs> don't, don't make mistakes as an Icarus pilot. Don't ever make mistakes as an Icarus pilot. <laughs> and again, going back to mythology... The whole yes. crux of Icarus is he makes a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah. He dies. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing, like, if we're if I'm gonna expand on lore and just postulating now, um, yep. To keep in theme with the Icarus theme, perhaps uh, the Icarus ships don't have a lot of safety features. Perhaps they don't have cloning bats. Perhaps they actually get like one human pilot, and um, when it blows up, that's it. He's dead. Actually, one of the things in the law for Icarus is um, their complaints that the track isn't built for their top speed, <laughs> <laughs> which has naturally led to widespread ridicule. Right. Um, and um, the fact that one of the problems with the team is it's very hard to find pilots crazy enough to fly these things. <laughs> right. I hope they're paid well. Uh, and I noticed you missed the pit stop on this lap here. Yes! Yes, I did. Air. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here it is! <laughs> Hold on, Ready tight, for the everyone. exploit? There oh we go! Oh my god! Shielded, so no damage from collision! <laughs> wow. I may not be good at piloting the Icarus, but when it comes to wow. being a cheaty motherfucker... <laughs> that was close. That was beautiful. It was a work of art. Performance art. Oh, man. And we'll get to see it all <laughs> over again. <laughs> um, including the Icarus' design, which is um, actually quite reminiscent of... Um, the first inspiration for Wipeout, a game that Psygnosis did uh, long before Wipeout, called Matrix Marauders. I think I saw in one of the intro videos you had a quick screenshot of that. I don't know actually. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be posting that again. Um, but uh, basically, it was a it was a Delta Wing with forward swept wings, just like this one. Right. Um, Were they as flimsy as the Icarus? Uh, never having oh, played Matrix shadow. Marauders. Oh, I know that that U-turn is possibly um, the best camera in the lot. Yeah, it was nice seeing um, the quake weapon fire just off ripple round. Great uh, shot. Yeah, the God Europa has possibly the best camera in the entire game. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another thing I like is the recovery drone is the only thing in the entire game universe that appears to have rotors. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You, you think? I don't know either. <laughs> you think of all the uh, events that would have like anti-grav, um, like drones, it would be this one. 
Like, AGS Systems, like, yeah, sure, here's some proprietary technology. Like, hell, use our own drone. Like, By the way, uh, one of the uh, things that Wipeout 3 Special Edition introduced is uh, a special cheat mode where you get to play um, the team rescue drones. Because uh, originally they were meant to be individual team rescue drones that were kind of reminiscent of the ships. Right. Um, I will be showing that off in a bonus video because it's hilarious. Is um, it fun or just hilarious? It's both. Oh. Um, and it, it's hilarious for multiple reasons. One yes. of which is uh, the it glitches out replay mode. Brilliant. Yeah, so you expect to watch a load of plucky little drones. <laughs> just... So, I just love watching. You're now so far ahead. Like you can, yeah. you can slow down if you want. You go around the U-turn. It looks like you're panicking to get away from something. You're just sliding into the hall. And that fateful moment. Um, thing is, that's gonna happen to you sooner or later with an Icarus because you're gonna fall to the sun. Uh, that, that, and the fact it is drifty as shit. Oh, um. But yeah, instead of seeing a proper race, um, the little drones just keep running into a wall until they explode. <laughs> really? Yeah, but it only happens in the replay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> now that was a smooth that turn. Was a good turn yeah. mm. <laughs> Too bad uh, there's no battle damage. Yeah, uh, that was, uh, again, a thing that you only really see in Wipeout Fusion. I imagine at this point, if there were battle damage, the Icarus would be, there'd be no canopy, there'd be no plating, there'd be no wings, it would literally just be, like, the engine, naked to the world, and the dude in the seat, screaming. Yeah, yeah that sounds about right. Um, so, this has been Jamie the D. And Blind Sally. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.